live with a flasher or without a flasher? It's in certain areas, and where we are today, for example, in, in San Mateo Bay up on the west coast, at this time of the year, you might find that, that you'd be more productive by putting a flasher in front of your bait. In other words, giving that bait a little bit more activity, uh, using the flasher to attract the fish to draw them in. In other areas, the bait fished alone uh, can be very effective and, and produces very well, as you would know being mm -hmm. a, a, a cut plug fisherman, that you don't have any attracting device in front of it. But it seems that these salmon, and particularly the ones that are out here on the west coast of Vancouver Island, are, are more susceptible to, to gear with a flasher in front of it than they would be perhaps once they get inside of Vancouver Island in, in the Gulf of Georgia. There we have a little bit better success with uh, straight gear without a flasher or a dodger. So bait can be fished either way, mm -hmm. and it's equally effective either way. Do you believe that uh, a flasher really impedes the playing of a fish at all? Maybe in some cases that might be true, Gary. You, you, might, sac you might sacrifice some of the play of the fish, but you're making up for it because flashers tend to draw, uh, possibly draw more fish into your gear. Uh, this can be true with actively feeding fish, for example, or in, in the case that we're fishing here where there might be a little bit uh, fussy, the, the flasher assists in bringing the fish into your gear. When you've got a big fish on, and, and hopefully the, of, the, of the type that we're looking for in this trip, uh, 30 pounds, 35, 40 pounds, when he takes off, uh, you aren't going to notice that the flasher's there an awful lot. Uh, you've got so much power with the fish that he overcomes that. Smaller fish, sure, it's going to take a little bit of the, of the play away. I was talking to Jack Gaunt, the inventor of the hotspot flasher, just a couple days ago, and I brought up the very same uh, question. And of course, as you know, that particular flasher is one of the most popular flashers on the coast, not only with sports fishermen, but with commercial fishermen alike. That's right. And he was telling me, and I found this quite interesting, that actually, when a fish is running from you, and he feels that flasher slapping or behind him, he actually has a feeling that there's something chasing him. And you'll actually get a lot more fight from a fish than you would without a flasher. So, you know, I, I, I felt that that was a very interesting concept. With leader lengths, do you, like a lot of times I'll hear people who are using six foot leader lengths, and I remember when I used to troll all the time, I used to always work around a 44, 45 inch leader length. Mind you, that was with a dodger, which doesn't revolve. It just That's right. works from side to side. Uh, w with something like a hot spot flasher, would you look at what, about 60 inches or 50 inches? I'll tell you, Gary, we've had really good success uh, with the hotspot, particularly with the baits, because that's really where my, my forte is, with a, a leader length of about this, which is sort of your 42 to 46 inch length, depending on how long your arms are. Now, at certain times of the year, we'll go longer than that with our baits, and we're a little bit longer than that right now, uh, primarily because of the nature of the fish we're after. He's, we're into well into September now, He's uh, been off that feed for quite a while and he's not going to go after a, an aggressively moving uh, bait. So we've moved that bait back in the five, five and a half uh, foot range. For our winter fishing, when we're primarily after, after feeding Chinook salmon, for example, we've found that the width the hot spot that 42 to 46 inches uh, for a leader length has been really effective. Uh, with herring strip, uh, any of the baits that we use, anchovies or, or minnows, that's been a super length for that time of the year. Of course with coho, a shorter leader length? Yeah, probably. A little bit more active with a the coho. They tend to chase the gear a bit more than the, uh, than the, than the springs do, and they'll go after a more, a more uh, uh, actively moving, moving bait. What do you think of uh, colors and lures? Like the teaser heads, you had a red one out and you have a green one. And, and the clear, Alec. And I like the green. Well, the green's a very popular color, but my favorite, I guess, would, would still be the clear, primarily because we're using the bait, and, and the bait we use has a lot of shine. It has a sheen on it, so it has that, that uh, natural attraction built into it. 